This may be the closest thing to a mythical unicorn, a white deer. So rare that Native Americans called them ghosts, believing they had magical powers. They're unique. We have a situation here that no one else has in the entire world, almost 300 white animals. White because of a recessive gene. This extraordinary herd is tucked away in Seneca County, New York. Most people don't even know the deer exist because they live on a former army depot surrounded by a 24-mile fence meant to keep intruders out and the deer in. Two white fawns were seen in the early 1950s, and they so captured the heart of the commanding general that he forbade the, the GIs from shooting any white deer. Those two white fawns rapidly multiplied, and it's the world's largest herd of white deer. But the herd is caught in a modern-day dilemma. A business group wants to develop 7,500 acres of the former Army Depot. Dennis Money's White Deer Group wants to turn the land into a nature reserve. And I think if we could market this as, as a conservation park, this could be a world treasure, a world tourist attraction for upstate New York. Seneca County is an area that's hurting, still trying to recover from massive job losses over the past couple decades. That's why local business developers see this former Army Depot as a gold mine for economic development. We have sold off the military housing. It's now fairly upscale housing along the lake. We have a new state prison here. It's a maximum security. That's created about 650 jobs. And county officials feel New York State's largest block of land available for development should stay in experienced hands. But Money contends his group has a solid business plan that's fueled by passion. Your heart is in this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Under the depot's decommission plan, the Army maintains the area until 2012, giving county officials time to decide how much land, if any, a conservation group will get. We're looking to preserve the deer, but also uh, pursue other uh, activities on the facility that won't uh, compromise their viability here. We feel we can do both. A unique balance that might be hard to achieve, but could save a rare site. Bianca Solorzano, CBS News, Seneca County, New York.